I had a lot of guides and friends and people that have fished here, and they all told me how awesome this place was and just the grand wildness of it. Like that's, if I had like one word to explain what the Everglades is, it's wild. I mean, even the birds act different. The birds act like we're in their zone. Like they literally spooked and yelled at us and there's just alligators everywhere. I lived in Florida my whole life and I've seen more alligators in the last three days than I've seen my whole life in Tampa. So that's something to be said. And they're just fish, there's just fish. They're not everywhere. Like I was expecting, I was expecting to catch like a hundred fish a day. And I'm sure that if I had like a day or two more to really come in and kind of hone more in on the pattern that I would have caught a lot more fish. I mean, we were catching like 15, 20 snook a day. We caught trout on the outside, we caught a bunch of ladyfish. Uh, watched a bunch of people catching like snapper and sheephead on uh, shrimp, but we were fishing with all our fish this whole weekend. Today was probably our best day of fishing. We got on a bunch of snook, uh, got on a bunch of micro tarpon, so a little tarpon about this size, which you don't really get in Tampa that much. So that was really awesome and really fun for me. Lisa Marie got to get on a few of those too. And then uh, really just getting out and exploring some new places I've never been before because that's what I enjoy doing. And it's what makes being a guide so much fun is that there's still things I can learn. Like I don't know everything and the Everglades just 100% throws that right in your face and lets you know that even though you're a great guy in Tampa, the Everglades will humble you. So come here, be humble, catch fish, back we're somewhere near Houston Bay in the Everglades National Park right now it took us about 30 minutes to get here we're all by ourselves we are not there's not one other boat fish in this entire back bay never been here before this is completely new waters completely new style of fishing but we're gonna get out there we're gonna try to catch some fish Lisa Marie forgot our lunch today and I forgot our lunch because we thought we thought we each other were gonna grab it and neither of us grabbed lunch so we're out here in the middle of nowhere with no lunch or snacks but we do have Trulies, water, sparkling, and Mountain Dews to keep us uh, going. And uh, yeah. the dogs got plenty of water, so we can drink their water if we need to, too. Uh, we're gonna get out here, I'm gonna get some stuff tied on, and we're gonna hopefully see some stuff starting to pop and roll and uh, figure this place out. That sounded like a fish eating. Oh, it's got an alligator. 
Mm -hmm. Hey, Diego. Diego, come here. Come here. Jesus Christ, dude. How'd your dog get eaten by an alligator? Diego, no. <laughs> no. I saw it. His paws were right on the edge, like you've been doing. Bad. Got me a snook, guys. First Everglades snook. Just missed one. Well, I pretty much just landed one, but I think we're finally getting into them, guys. Throw my go to, guys. My go to bait. Old mirror lure, Little John. Can't go wrong with Little John, he catches everything. Uh, because there's probably a camp, a chick, a chicky hut here somewhere close. I throw out here in the middle a couple times. There's literally fish poofs everywhere. I can't tell if they're mullet or if they're snook. I don't want you to hit me in the face. I'm not gonna hit you in the face. Lucky will be happy if I stand here anyways. Shade. Sabotage. <laughs> she always misses the fish when she's getting a massage. Diego, you're like hype. You're the definition of hype. Zero chill. Oh, so hot here. Got my one. Decent snook. Whoa, Diego, do not eat my snook. There we go. It's a good snook. Biggest one of the day. Bro, chill. There we go. Nice uh, Everglades National Park snook. See if we can't get another one. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Missed it. <laughs> the lady at the bay shop said once the airboat tour stopped, that one right there that you pass by in Everglades City, she said there's a bunch of tarpon right there in that across in that water waterway. Got me another snooky. That's a micro snook. You're right, you're catching on, see? Diego's like, hey, can I eat that? Oh bro, I think the thing just jizzed on you, Diego.
Like he's like, just let me know when you want to go. He's like, uh, what's it called when you're institutionalized? <laughs> he's just like, let me know when to get up. Let me know when to piss. Yeah, let me know when to poop. Let me know when to sleep. I'm good, bro. Gonna fish that point right there, and that's gonna be a wrap for today. And I'll be ready for a truly and a nice, easy boat ride back. Yeah. Whatever. Would have been really nice to have a sandwich today, though. I'll tell you that much. That's all she wrote.